All right. Shall we start? Okay. So who wants to go first? Any volunteers? All right. Here we have a volunteer. Yes. Okay. Uh, could you kindly explain, like, um, you don't have to mention everyone in the group, but like, uh, who, who is there in your group and what are the take-home messages? Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. Good morning. This is Akshaya. I am from Save the Children uh, Valiku team. Uh, I'm representing my boss Mohini and uh, my manager Maheshya. And um, about the takeaways yesterday, um, we learned about the use cases. Uh, we got the exposure of use cases of different countries of uh, how they use uh, the aggregate attendance. And the most interesting part for me was the expert lounge where we sat with the Gambia team and uh, discussed on the um, attendance uh, tracking uh, without using internet, uh, how they uh, create the dashboards um, uh, for decision making. Uh, it was very interesting because we got to ask them many questions and uh, they were kind enough to explain everything in detail for us. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Oh, great. Um, I mean, we were also not too sure to include uh, experts' loans. Uh, I mean, every time when we are planning the agenda, uh, one question we always have is whether to include expert launches or not, because sometimes we feel like it may not be so important for all of you, but it's really good to see uh, that there are a lot of interest uh, about the expert uh, launches. All right. We have another volunteer. Uh, you want to go next? Yes. Please. Um, Chipo Kanjo from Malawi. I'm with uh, Kondwani Mntali from Malawi as well. Uh, from yesterday's uh, recap, uh, there were a number of things, some have already been mentioned, I will not repeat. But uh, from the use cases, uh, one take home point was uh, the critical uh, value of the missing middle, which was uh, presented by Uganda, where implementation is concerned. And also being uh, social technical in nature, the implementations, the uh, minister's keynote was very, very uh, critical, where we heard that digitalization is not as simple as it sounds. It's kind of politics of power with uh, a number of frustrations. So as we implement, it's also important to take note of those issues. Thank you. Nice, because uh, implementation considerations is, 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 a, is a very serious uh, discussion we need to have in all the countries. In fact, the focus for today's session is to kind of try to un unbox all these complexities. So it's uh, so good to hear that uh, there is a lot of interest in, uh, around the implementation considerations, complexities around that also. Okay. Who wants to go next? Shall we hear from... Uh, Sri Lankan group? Yes, okay. Uh, I'm Priyanti from Central Province, representing our provincial uh, coordinators and uh, Sama Madam, me from Ministry. Uh, actually, we have uh, uh, two important uh, points related to yesterday's session. First one is uh, from the study of uh, Gambia. Uh, it was different because uh, we have, uh, they have uh, uh, collected teacher attendance. Uh, normally it's different because they have uh, daily schools and sh shift schools. So uh, actually uh, they have two, but they have managed to cover the teacher attendance uh, very um, in, d in a detailed form because they have uh, collected the data uh, before, uh, for the daily shifts, shifts and daily and also uh, whether a teacher attends the lesson uh, within the time. So it directly relates to the teaching learning process and sometimes it may give motivation to the teachers and also sometimes I know, don't know whether they have linked it up to the parental level. I think there is a motivation and also it's a um, uh, a very useful data regarding the teaching learning process. So I think uh, we can use that. And also the second point uh, is the group photo we taken. That was a uh, <laughs> very um, actually a new uh, um, experience for all of us. All of, all of the team was covered and everyone was gazing. It was a very good experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. If I may ask a follow-up question, do you have this uh, shift uh, 
uh, school or session requirement in Sri Lanka? No. Normally we don't have. All right, no, nice. And about the group photo, it was last minute improvisation. We were actually uh, initially thinking of uh, arranging it a bit differently uh, with uh, seats and chairs all already arranged, but it was, uh, we had to improvise. Thank you. All right. Any other volunteers? Yes. It's a mini group. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Um, actually, the, in uh, yesterday presentation, uh, I pick uh, the Gambia uh, attendance tracking system. Uh, they have collected uh, actually not only the teachers; they are collecting uh, student attendance also. Uh, they are having uh, two shifts for a day, uh, and uh, the. Uh, the thing I have uh, going to uh, bring my home is uh, that this DHIS2 platform is, uh, can collect data uh, and analyze data uh, and also it shows statistics uh, and also uh, graphic uh, and uh, all the data they have mapped in the GIS map. That's a good thing. Uh, I think we can uh, think about, about that. Uh, and a very tremendous task is uh, uh, they are developing uh, in, uh, with their knowledge, I mean the, uh, with their, their developer. Uh, and another thing is uh, they can collect the data uh, through a mobile app, uh, its work uh, even offline and online. Uh, if they are collecting data in offline, the Data will be synced later once the internet connected. So that is another thing uh, I have to mention here. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, you want to go next? Okay. I am Nishani, representing Sony Level. Actually, we uh, get lots of things from this session. Uh, especially, Miss Sophia is very inspiring. She inspires us all. Uh, we especially admire that. The whole program is uh, very live. Uh, we enjoyed and gained lots of things. All the presenters gave us uh, lots of inputs. Actually, they were results oriented. That's a special thing. Uh, rather than the formal system, they uh, come up with ways how to do it. It's very important. Other than we uh, discuss all the barriers, how to overcome. They always explain how they overcome those things. Uh, we especially gain that collection of uh, insights and also they highlighted very simple things. We can do lots of things through these simple systems, S student attendance and so many things, very simple, but we gain a lot of outputs. We can address in decision making level through these things that's very helpful in our system. I think actually uh, we spend a very nice day with lots of uh, new knowledge and sharing. Actually, they are from a different continent and we are in another continent, but the, all the students are having similar insights. Thank you. It's really nice to have all this feedback about the use cases because we, we, we presented many use cases from Africa, as you mentioned. It's good to see, like, uh, across the continents, we still have the same requirements. Nice. Uh, yeah, we have two more groups. Is that so? Okay, the data management unit group. Good morning, all of you. I am Dineshika Gunratna, representing divisional level. Uh, I am very happy to hear here because I am always uh, struggling with data collection uh, uh, in divisional level because always other institutions are asking for data within few minutes. So may, now I hear. Uh, I learned that we can use simple apps to collect data within few minutes. I think uh, that's the most important thing for me. Right, thank you. Right, great. Shall I ask you a follow-up question? I think uh, for most of our international participants here, they may not be so familiar with uh, the divisional level. Uh -huh. So what is divisional level in Sri Lanka? Like, where are you located and are you the closest to the school? Yes. Uh, yeah. Could uh -huh. you please kindly uh, explain? Division level is the primary level in the uh, education level. They are very close to schools and always uh, working with the schools. 
the, all the problems in a school level uh, solving with the divisional level. And uh, if we cannot solve that, we go to the uh, zonal level. Then after that, provincial level and ministry level, like that. All right, thank you. All right, so the final group. I think there are too many ideas, so they are trying to see like who is going to present. They are needing a few more uh, seconds. Yes. Right, okay, so, so they are still discussing, but what I overheard from them was uh, the attendance case from Gambia was of real importance for them. So Gambian team, they might talk to you to learn more about it. All right, I think now we have uh, received inputs from all the groups. So it's, it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, we are so glad to hear that some of the uh, sessions, for example, the use cases, expert launch, and even the inauguration session, uh, especially the Honorable Minister's speech and the panel discussion, uh, they provided you a lot of insights to think differently about how we are going to deal with data and how we are, going, how we are actually planning to shift to EMIS. All right, so now that I mentioned this term, shift to EMIS, we are going to hear from uh, Dr. Kenud Staring. He's a senior advisor at the University of Oslo. So he's a uh, very experienced DHS2 implementer with experience over two decades. Yeah, even more. Yes. So what he's going to talk about next is about EMIS shift. Not only about EMIS shift, how to do this in a sustainable manner. If you can remember some of the ideas we discussed yesterday, about digital public goods and how to do the digitalizations in the countries. I think the main challenge all of us are having is how can we do this in a sustainable way, right? We are not talking about systems. I think all of you, in all our countries, we know there are many software companies who design, build systems, and we have many enthusiastic people in, in the ministries of education who want to implement them with goodwill. But what happens is if you don't plan properly, these systems fail to sustain. What we know is like there are a lot of requirements that change over time. And after one year, two year, this will not survive, right? So what we are going to do and what we are, what we are going to present next is how you should plan your EMIS shift, how you should plan digitalization in the education sector so that you can set up systems that will last for a very long time. So Kenut, over to you. <laughs> 